MPs are locked in an angry debate. <laughs> The breathtaker, I produce AKA the Undertaker. You want to come down to the. Well, not people want to restrict the size of a shrub. Under the sky. Rude FM, back after the break. When I was about 14, 13 and all them, there was all them stations, Dance FM, uh, Centre Force, Sunrise, I used to listen to them all the time. And then in 91 I thought I could do one myself. So just got a few decks together, mixer, bought an old transmitter, put the aerials up and was getting out to light about 10 miles around to north, south and east and west. And then that was it really, we just started from there. Because we get out mainly to North London where no other pirate radio station gets out to. So we've got like the whole of North London really that are listening because we're the cl clearest on the dial. But every weekend we go up there Friday, put the aerials up, put the uh, transmitter in the pipe, go and set the studio up. That's it, we're on, on air. Excuse me ladies, can I ask a question? Yes. <laughs> do, you, do you like jungle music? Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. What, what, what do you like about it? The beat. I like jungle music. <laughs> It's okay. I just say I'm a bit. Well, yeah, it's all right. For the younger ones, it's nice. It brings all the kids together, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's a good thing about jungle music. Seriously. Brilliant. Yeah. Anything else? No. no that's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. If you was to make a record and you heard it played on a station, and you think of how many other people are listening to that record, if they like it, they're going to go out and buy the record, aren't they? So really, they should think, yeah, we're doing them some good. Really, we're promoting all their records. I had a little uh, an Amiga computer and I used to do it on that. You didn't need an expensive sampler for that. You used to do it in the computer itself, but the sample time is limited and the quality is not that good. So, you know, you have to improve each time. So that's what we've done here by building up our studio. It's a lot easier working together because, like, it's more vibes. And when you get, like, get with the vibes, you're just busting it down on a keyboard and you just get right into it when there's two of you. I suppose if there's, if there's one of you, like, it's all right, but... If there's two of you, there's more ideas in it. The important thing to jungle music is what carries the whole music. So as you see the bottom line there, we've got one looped, and that's what's playing through. We like to have more than one drum beat. You're looking for two or three just to get a groove going. So if you switch on the second one, and then we get a groove going, so we know a feel for it. Then after that, I like to look for a B line, or a bass line, whatever you want to call it. So we just chuck a bass straight into there. And you're using the computer to do this. Yeah, well, we always use a computer because that's the only way of putting all the samples together. So it's just holding them all together, and this is what we're doing here. And as we put more tracks on, you can hear the more the song gets thicker and thicker. This is how we get the groove going. Now you're just putting some vocals into it just to give it a bit more feel. And this is the way it all goes through. 
you know, you hear a lot of music out there and you think, I can do that, I know I can do that, I've got it in me and it's just a burning ambition to do that. And if people appreciate your music for a change, I think that's what leads you half the time. We're the legal doorway to an illegal pirate station, yeah? This is the like the legal communication. This is the way people really can communicate, find out where their music is coming from, see all that, see how the DJs are. Some of the DJs work down here, they see how they play. People like to meet the DJs, then they only hear, you know what I mean? Puts the face to the name. That's what they like to see, you know? From Rude FM, yeah, every, oh. every DJ off Rude FM comes here, without a doubt. Yeah, they're all regulars every week. That's all the music you can hear on the station, you can get here. It's like, oh, right, we, might, we might give the DJs the promos before the releases, yeah? So you'll hear the music on the station and go, yeah, I like that tune. And then you'll know that you can come here to get that tune, you know what I mean, in the future or whatever. But otherwise, the DJs, like, they'll come in here, we all got them well, and it's just like a family sort of thing, really. Comparison to other other dance styles, it's up there, yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not no little saying that you know people go out of jungle and kick it away. It's there. It's prominent. It's worries a lot of people. You know what I mean? How good it is. You know they don't like it half of the people, but that's up to them, isn't it? The older generation, I suppose. Do you like it? I think it's interesting. Josh and Mad. It's it's like with the West Indies at the uh, at the um. Test matches. Have you heard them? The the West Indies at the they be at the test match cricket test matches this year. Mm -hmm. You'll hear some jungle music there. Jungle music, jungle. Jungle. I don't know anything about jungle music. Jungle music is for Jamaicans. I'm not a Jamaican. No. Uh -oh. You've been a couple speakers, right? Yeah. And then the jungle music player. We would have danced for you now. We would have shown you some skills. <laughs> I've been in scene since I was about 15, you know, but I'm 19 now, so that's what, about four years, about four years now. But I used to do it before, like, but with reggae and all that. You have to keep track of what the crowd is, is responding to, you know what I mean? So, I mean, if you're chatting on a, if you're chatting all hyper on a mellow tune, it's not going to work, you know what I mean? Because people wanna, wanna, want the lyrics to be rolling with the flow, you know? They want it to roll with the flow, so you've got to go with the music and not just what you think is right. Uplifting bass, man, we go free mash up the place. P-E-D-R-O, this is show for the one page, oh, cause this is our cruise, we go with the flow, cause we love the bass, and now don't you know, so I have to chip, but I love to jump with the chop, but I run up on the bass, I try, cause we boy, let me tell me off, now let that chill, and would you bring the bass line back? Most of the locations is a little bit secret, so I can't be specific on where exactly where we are. Uh, obviously, um, Jungle uh, is what we're playing right now. Most of the people uh, love that situation in London. Uh, there's a lot of ravers that are going out to Jungle. We sort of cater for the community. Most, most of what people like to hear is Jungle. That's a younger generation, I hope. And we do have some older ones. I want to hear them sometimes. Give us a ring at the station. <laughs> We'd like to be legal if it's possible, if it's possible. But I hear there's a, quite a lot of difficulties in trying to establish to get a license. But none of us really want to be playing illegal so that the police or the DTI are searching around for us all day. We'd like to know that we can do it 24-7.
Everyone has got a sense of music which is within them and that's all a woman needs to DJ. Uh, there's lots of men on the scene. Uh, you might be singled out a bit more, but um, I, I don't think that any man really, when he comes uh, faced with a woman who's a good DJ, I don't think they'll ever cuss her, they'll, they'll pick her up, they'll, they'll definitely praise her. It, it's taken a long time, I think, for... Uh, for, for women, especially in the junk in the scene, to, to make a name for themselves, but they, they have, and it's very, very good, it's very enlightening, and I hope it's um, a good incentive for all other girls who, who listen to people like that, to, you know, what does it cost, get yourself some decks and, and mix it up. Meeting? Jungle music. Jungle music? Have you heard of jungle uh, music? I like, I like very much. I find it, it's, it's exciting, it lifts you up, changes your mind. If your mind's on something, it can distract you from what you're thinking about and give you something just that takes you away from it, you know, better than drugs. Read from Zwa. It's Zwa. <laughs> They're wicked and the best. <laughs> I've always been there, yeah, even when